Hi, I'm Linda. Welcome back. I just finished up uh, Stony Beach. It's a real uh, pretty little seascape. Some nice clouds, reflections in the calm seas, and a very pretty beach. Uh, got some stony effects on the bottom. I'll show you how I got those. So get your paints out. Get ready. So let's get started. And here's the paints I used. Acrylics, terracotta, and cad yellow. Glass bead gel by Golden, clear liquid clear, oil paints by Artist Law, titanium white, lamp black, phthalo blue, violet, Van Dyke brown, burnt sienna, and Chad yellow. So now I'm going into glass bead gel, and I'm using my palette knife. I'm just dipping right into the jar, and I'm going to figure out where my shoreline is going to start. So I'm keeping my wrist straight. So I'm going to go straight across, and you can go wherever you think. There's going to be some little uh, tiny stones. And on the bottom, I'm angling kind of upward, like where the, you can imagine how the flow of the water is going to come onto the shoreline. So I'm just gently patting on some of this gel. And if it gets a little lumpy, you can just go over it again. If you want big rocks, well then you can make them a little bit thicker. So I'm just dipping right into my jar. No need to put anything on the palette. Angling, just putting wherever I think little stones might be. Very, very light. And I'm going to let this dry after I'm, I'm satisfied with uh, where I want the angles of the water and the stones to be. Okay, so now it's dry and I've got the terracotta, the acrylic paint, I'm using uh, probably a number eight fan brush pretty good size one and just put a little bit on the corner of the brush and I'm going to just do little circles, little circles right above the halfway mark. Just blend it in as much as you can. Just a small area there where uh, I'm going to have some reflections of uh, the sun. I'm going to put a little bit down on the uh, bottom right, down underneath, you know, the center of the shoreline there where the rocks are going to be. And you'll notice that uh, that gel, the, the glass bead gel, is very hard. And um, once you get it on there, you really can't pick it off. It's, it's really strong. So now I'm going to, into some cad yellow. I'm just lightening up a little bit. The top of that terracotta and just blend it as, as best as you can going back and forth maybe put a yellow streak you know, wherever you think the sun might uh, sun rays might go you don't have to be super fussy I'm going to let this dry now after it's totally dry, I'm going to go into liquid clear. And I'm going to put a really thin, thin coat all over this canvas. Just to get a very, very thin coat. You don't need a lot because I'm going to take uh, a folded shop towel and I'm going to go over and take up all the excess oil because you don't want a lot on there otherwise your paint will run you just want to make it so it's a little bit slippery and once you get down into uh, the glass bead gel you notice it's they're sharp they're really sharp so you got to go in between very lightly and i ended up padding just padding some of that excess oil off So 
So now I'm going right into phthalo blue and a little bit of white. I'm going to go across the, the top, all the way across. Little X strokes. And if you think you have too much, you can take a shop towel and lay it over the top. I'm going to figure out what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to go just Go low to the halfway mark, right up uh, above where the shoreline, where you've got, uh, I've got the, the beads there, the glass beads, just, just below the halfway mark. And then just brushing lightly some of that down into making water. Working my way down. I'm not going to go over the uh, the yellow, the terracotta, very much. It's going to kind of leave that open. So now I'm going in with a little, very dark, a little touch of black. I, I want a dramatic sky, so I'm going to start just with a tiny bit of black. It's a strong color, so it's, you have to be kind of careful. But I want to make the top of the canvas darker along with the sides trying to get that blended in going back and forth now with a clean brush i'm going to go into uh, titanium white i'm going to start from one corner and work my way across blending some of that dark color and you can see I uh, the more white started putting in some clouds with the uh, corner of a fan brush and you can bring some of that blue drag it down even though you've got white on you could pick up some of that blue and I always wipe up my uh, fan brush off after after each time up there otherwise you know it'll just get kind of mushy so i'm just making some clouds with the white touch, just touching the little edges of that blue bringing some of the blue down as you go creating some clouds circle circular motions pushing that paint right into the canvas and pretty soon i'm going to start uh, with the angle I want my angle of my clouds to kind of swoop down and up. So in the meantime, I'm just going back in a little white. I'm just matching in with that blue, joining them. And the more, uh, the more I blend with that fan brush, the softer it's going to get. So now I'm, I'm going back into a little bit of phthalo and white. I'm going to start my curve upward. That looks weird now, but that's the curve of uh, the way the clouds are going to move. Going back into the white with a clean fan brush, just going underneath that blue, just blending it upward. I'm going around that yellow spot there. We put in going around that because I want a little bit of the sun, sun to peek through in that area. So now I'm going into a gray, uh, white with just a touch of black it's, and maybe a touch of blue. It's just like a dark, medium to dark blue gray. Just making my circular motions, bringing some of that uh, darker color. So I'm going in, I've got a little much, too much paint, so I'm going to take a shop towel there, shop rag, and take off the excess oil. It really helps. And then just pull it off. And then go back in with a clean, and I've got a mop, mop brush there, and I'm using that to uh, really soften everything up, going around. 
blending the blue and the darker color, matching it together. Little circles. So I'm happy when you're happy with that section. Go in with a, with a uh, new fan brush there with some white and continue to bring down some of that blue color. Just, it'll, you can pull it right down without adding, you know. Now I did the base there, right at the horizon line. I did add, uh, I'm adding some phthalo blue with white. Because I'm preparing to put in a background, um, oh, I don't want to say mountain, but it's a, it's a land mass back, way back there. So I'm just putting in darker blue, angling up, and then swooping down into the horizon line. Just blending, circular motions, blending. I want to make it really soft. Really push that paint into the canvas. Going with a little more blue, light blue, on the other side. I'm going to create uh, some darker clouds underneath the white ones. Kind of layering it. Going into the darker gray, white with a touch of black. And I'm going to go right above the yellow. And making a darker area up there. Because when I start putting in my white clouds underneath that, it's going to blend, blend in. So I want to uh, blend in that yellow. Eventually you'll see uh, with the white. We're going to match up the yellow right into the dark clouds, adding some light above the dark white, starting to shape, and you can do it however you want. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on getting that swooping little angle upward. I'm going to start there. That's going to be a real light. Uh, my goal is to make that really, really bright right up there. And against the darker clouds, adding the white, it's really going, going to show off. You know, it's going to, because without the dark, there is no light. So I'm going to do layers of light, dark, light. And just with a clean, dry fan, fan brush underneath, I've got two working. And I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to blend. Just blend those, mesh them together, leaving uh, some of those darker areas. That's how you get your clouds to look kind of billowy. Adding more white. Going to start angling downward. And then up. With a clean dry, I always tap, always tap the excess off, and that's my dry brush. So I'm going to go underneath that white and start blending. Trying not to uh, touch the top edge. I want to leave that brighter at the top. Going down farther with some white, back with the dry brush, I'm going to blend that. And eventually, I'm going to touch into that yellow. And you'll see I'm going to cover up a lot of it. Because I just want, to, want the yellow to peek through. Now, those clouds right there that I'm working on, I'm, I'm working on bright, brightening those up. Making them a little bit lighter. But like it's a layer, you know, I have to put white down and then take the dry brush and, and buff that out, shape it. 
angle it, leaving that dark area in. And then when you put the light under there, the white, a little bit of that dark showing in spots, it's going to give it a really nice effect. Just going on the top edge of that yellow with some white, dry brush, going to the bottom of that, leaving a few open spots there, a little bit of that yellow uh, showing. And you can always get up off the chair and stand back and squint and look and see if there's any areas that uh, don't look right. Go back and, and touch them up. Going into the yellow, I'm, I'm blending those edges. Leaving uh, some of that yellow poking through. Now I'm using my a smaller fan brush. I think it's a number four. I'm going to just tap in some angling, angling up of uh, some some street clouds, some little clouds that are going to go upward. And then I take a clean dry brush. I'm going to buff, buff that out, buff it up, keeping the angles upward. Same with the next one, just kind of tapping in, and then I'm going to buff, buff that one out. So, so just uh, go right below that cloud. I'm going to leave some of that dark area in, and I'm right now I'm right above on the top of that uh, mountain or ma land mass right there, so I'm going to be right on the top edge of that. So I want that a little bit lighter there. I'm going to take a darker gray, and I'm, you'll see how that uh, looks. The mountain I will make a little bit darker. So I'm working on the horizon line, going across. And it's clean, dry brush. And I'm going to make little circular motions. It's going to look almost like a foggy cloud effect there on the back. And inside the sunlight there, I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow out. I just want to have it just peek through. Give you the illusion that uh, there is uh, some a sunlight back there. And just buffing, leaving some of the yellow holes, leaving some of that exposed. That's the cad yellow and white. And I'm going to just touch here and there on some of those white clouds. Just to brighten them up just a little bit. Just here and there. And again, go over with a small dry brush and just kind of softly buff them, buff them in. Okay, I'm going into phthalo white with a touch of uh, brown. And I'm going to work on the back horizon line just underneath those clouds a little bit of land back there I've got a liner brush this time real small I'm just going to make a little land mass on the horizon line And I always measure up on the sides, uh, bottom up to the horizon line to make sure that's a little mark on the side of the canvas. So I, I know uh, I can keep my lines pretty straight across that way. All right, going back into a darker blue, phthalo. 
a little bit of white. I'm going to go underneath that landmass back there. I'm putting in some water. I want to keep that a little bit darker. Same with the other side. Maybe the other side is a, just a tad lighter, but not much. Just brushing in some water. Smoothing it out. Bringing it down just to uh, your shoreline there. Putting some darker water lines in. Leaving the center part fairly open. Because that's going to be where the sunlight is, uh, is going to hit. Now I'm going uh, down to the shoreline. And you'll know it when you hit those little glass beads. Because <laughs> they'll, uh, they'll show. They'll show up. I'm putting some water. Uh, that's coming in on the shoreline, just very light. Kind of going around that, those terracotta uh, colors. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of the darker uh, gray. Touch of black, if it's too dark, add a little white. And I've just got a small brush. I'm just being real gentle there. I want to, don't want to go too high up. And I'm just doing little circles. I'm going to angle down into that shoreline. There I'm going more into the center of that mountain, a little darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. Just tapping in, it doesn't have to be totally smooth because we got some make-believe trees in there, but you can't, you don't see them. But you want to have those different variations of light and dark in that. So now I'm going to go on the other side and well, I feel as though I needed some more cloud action back there to cover up some of that darker blue. Just tapping in very light gray. Just tapping in, blending it mainly. Okay, so I have a little bit of white on my palette knife. And I'm going to go right underneath the yellow and terracotta where I think the sunlight's going to come down on that water. I like to use a uh, palette knife. It keeps my lines, I think, straighter. I mean, you can use a, a liner brush, but I think with, you want some really thin, thin white lines in the water reflections. I brought some of that, uh, the white on the palette and went over underneath that uh, mountain on the left, just to expose a little bit of that shoreline there, bringing some of that darker color down into the water. So now I've got a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, just a little bit, on a fan brush. I'm going to go over some of my 
my my rocks. I'm going to touch some of those areas where I want the rocks more exposed. And then I'm with a clean dry brush. I'm just kind of go, going over those areas. Just just brushing them in. Brush that color into the those little beads. Keeping the line straight. That's where the the shoreline uh, starts. So you want that a little bit. Have some of those darker areas in there. And you can shape it however you want, but I want to uh, make sure that the shoreline there is a little bit more beigey, dark, darker brown. I don't say beige, but a light, you know, um, light brown. I've got some burnt sienna that I'm putting in there too. Uh, it's a little bit of a reddish, reddish brown. And that's where I'm putting that in right now. I'm just shaping how the sand is in the in the front there. All my little rocks will will show. It gives a texture, you know. Creating the sandy area with a little bit of the burnt sienna. Now I've gone into my Van Dyke Brown. The bottom is going to be a lot darker. It's uh, really sandy down there and rocky. So I'm smoothing it out. I've got a little mop brush. I'm just blending those in before I start adding uh, more detail with the white. I want to make sure the dark is in there. And the angle. I'm brushing upward. The bottom is more straight. Now I'm going in with uh, got a little scruffy brush, which is handy. I use that in some of my other paintings. It's a Donna Dewberry uh, three-quarter inch scruffy, and it really uh, you tap that over those beads, and it really works pretty nice. I like it. So I want to make the bottom quite a bit darker. Give it. Uh, some depth, you know, with the dark and lights. And then with the uh, off brush, it's blending it in between. Tapping some dark areas in there. And you could put a big rock there if you wanted to. I wanted to keep it kind of subtle. Back up there where the shoreline starts, I want a little bit dark there too. So now I've got some white on my fan or on a palette knife, and I'm gonna start putting in where the water is gonna is hitting that shoreline. And you can smooth a lot of that out, blend it with a dry brush. But I'm mainly using the palette knife to create uh, some water lines here and there. So I think I've got uh, oh, a little bit more to go here. The center, you see that wave there, I ended up uh, brushing that more flat. I wasn't real happy with the the wave in the center. You'll see my final final picture, but uh, this will give you an idea uh, how to make some waves if you want it more wavy in there, more water. Bringing the water lines uh, that way down into the canvas and I added little uh, darker rocks and some white in there, some white rocks. Touching up here and there with the, with the dark. 
give it a more natural feel. It's like I've used a palette knife, put a little rock in there. Touching up, putting putting some darker rocks in with a little liner brush. Wherever you want, you could make it your own. Just dotting in little areas of, of rocks. Still touching up. You'll have to get up, stand back, and look and change it. Try to imagine yourself there. Just doing the final touches. Getting the water to flow right. Well, I almost see a finished painting here. I really enjoyed this one, and I hope you do too. So until next time, happy painting, and God bless.